It is a pet peeve of mine when people make parenting to be at all bad. It's not. It's absolutely not. There are blessings. There are things that are amazing. I love them so. My son, actually all my kids, little jocks, all right, jocks in their different ways. They all have different skills and ability. And my son, I, like, I love going to his games. And I will tell you, the only thing in the world more satisfying than watching your kids play sports are watching the kids that are there against their will. <laughs> if you have not had the chance... To watch a child be forced into youth sports participation, mm, I love it so much. It is a heavenly gift from above. I can't get it. There's a kid on my son's basketball team named TJ. TJ does not sit on the bench. TJ lays on the bench. And whenever they call his number, it's a big dramatic scene. He flops out of the ground, rolls into center court, flips off his parents. I love TJ. I can't get enough of this kid. Every time it's the game, I'm like, yeah. TJ, TJ, T. I have a foam finger. It's just a middle finger. I love TJ. <laughs> you guys, it's because he's a wild card. I've been going to youth sports for 15 years. I have seen a million kids make or miss a basket. I have seen one kid bite a ref. <laughs> and that is worth getting up for on a Saturday morning. At the end of last season, they, his best moment, they tried to create the viral YouTube moment, you know, where the kid who's not very good gets his first basket. Everybody goes nuts. You guys have all seen the videos, all right? But you have to understand, the kids in those videos, they want the basket. TJ doesn't want the basket. <laughs> TJ doesn't even want to be there. And this is when I realized that we were all pawns in TJ's game. Because these are the last seconds, last quarter, last game of the season. It's, uh, it's blown up. They, everybody knows what's happened. TJ's number gets called. The game on the other court stops. Everybody gets their phones out. The cheerleaders are coming around. They're scanning his name. Everybody knows what's happened. They throw him the ball. All right, the defense clears. All eyes on TJ. Five, four, three. This psychopath <laughs> does not shoot the basketball. He licks the basketball. And then he kicks it into the stands. <laughs> This is the best moment of my life. Cause then he turns and looks at us like that scene from Gladiator, like, are you not entertained? <laughs> is this not why you're here? It's like, this is why I'm here, TJ. My kid's not even playing today, so.